Hey, what's going on, everybody? Kellen here. Kellen here. It's a blessed Monday. Blessed Monday to get things going. I want to be able to answer some questions people have uh, been asking. Okay, when's the next time you're going to Africa? Next time, always. When's the next time you're going to Africa? You know what? That question, I'll tell you, is in November. Short answer. Kenya, with the... World View Travels, ladies, it's an African diaspora tour, and we are going to explore, and people say, oh yeah, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, you know, I'm going here, I'm going there, I've been there, I've been here, but I've never been to Africa, let me check it out, and then they get the flyer, and they check it out, and all they get, some people, because we got over, you know, 30 people who are ready to go, but some people are like, hey, this is expensive. This is a different type of tour. Uh, this is, and It's not that it's expensive. It is a different type of trip, and it's a type of trip that you might have never experienced before, especially, you know, for Americans, because, you know, they say like 70% of Americans don't have a passport. I think that number is kicking up, but... Um, you know, it is for a certain type of explorer. It's for the person who's really curious about Africa and doesn't want to do it alone, doesn't know anybody, likes group travel, likes organization. And I say that because when I travel, like outside of work, oh, I'm, we want to get lost. Like the familiar, we get lost. <laughs> you know, we that's the whole intention. Let's explore. We got things we want to do, but we're not on like any certain timetable. So I say all that to say it's for that person who, you know, wants to know, hey, on Monday I'm doing this, Tuesday I'm doing this, Wednesday I'm doing this, um, my meals are covered here, my transportation is covered. It's just for that type of person. So if that's you, you know, Hit the links and, you know, let's go because this is what's not going to happen. We're not going to be a week into leaving and it's in November of this year. We're not going to be a week into leaving. And you guys are going to hit me up talking about, hey, can you make a special exception for me and book my plane ticket, book my hotel and everything else. You know what I mean? Like we got to pay for meals in advance. You know, the tour company does. Um so and and they do a really great job at doing that. And so you're not going to have just a week and be like, I'm ready to go. No. Well, I didn't know. But now I got all my money. No, you put your down payment now and, and let's go. So um, it, it is what it is. But it's it's a great trip. And, you know, there's no experience like Africa and all are welcome. All are welcome to come explore and see the real Kenya, you know, Nairobi, Mombasa. We're going to hit up um, an island right off of Mombasa. Yeah, man, what can you say? But yes, this sounds like something I want to do. You know, people are going to be spending all this money um, on Christmas, which is a pagan holiday, on Thanksgiving, which is a, a, a holocaust for Native Americans um, at, at best. You know, um, you can spend all this money on all these other things that are just everyday things and the things that are unique, the things that are special, the things that you'll never forget. Ooh, wee, that's a trip to Africa, especially your first trip to Africa. If you don't know, you check in the links in the description and the about page, wherever you see this. Um, you know, I have a course, $20, how to explore and travel to Africa. You know, and I've had people who have gone to Africa numerous times say, wow, you told me things I didn't even know. Well, that's what happens when you're dealing with a consultant who takes their time to study. I don't say expert, or at least not right now, because I'm always learning. Things are always growing in Africa. Africa is moving fast, faster than America, faster than London. Patty, oh, man, the thing is moving and growing. So I say all that to say before my swim. Get, got to get my exercise in, got to make 40 look great, um, 50, 60, 70, and 80, 90, and 100 to 120, unless things, you know, change, you know, <laughs> but yeah, you got to tap in if you're a group traveler and want to go to Africa. It's just it's, the time is now. The movement is now. People always want to know, hey, what's what's the next big thing? Like I have a crystal ball, right? 
And I tell people, it's just being nosy and exploring. That's how we find out about crypto before Bitcoin even existed. So when people start telling you guys lies and say, no, it's not even true. Or that person doesn't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> they just heard the word, you know, crypto and just became an expert. Uh, just because you can buy a whole bunch of, you know, under a penny um, stocks or things doesn't make you a Wall Street expert. So I don't know how you become a crypto expert just because you can say some buzzwords, you know. And what is an expert, right? Because we're all learning. Same thing in crypto. Same thing in travel, same thing in life if you are wise or seeking wisdom. But I wanted to let you guys know, make sure you tap in, jump on it now, because I'm not even trying to entertain. Oh, it's a week. Oh, this is my only time. I mean, I've heard stories, man. You know, this is the only time ever in life it's ever going to be able to happen. It doesn't matter. You had the warning now. It's kind of like the person who told you, store your food, store your water, get your toilet paper. You didn't listen. So when, you know, the storm hits, you're not prepared. And you're like, oh, somebody help me. Nobody is going to help you. Nobody's going to say, come save you. The only Savior is Jesus. Y'all be blessed.